Hi, I'm Danielle. This is Scribbling on Regardless. Uh, today we are going to do some drawing and we're going to do three colours drawing. Um, so you should have um, three different colour sharpies and we're going to do some different exercises of just kind of like fun, easy uh, drawings that you can do. What you'll need is paper, colouring pens um, or pencils and you'll have the three colours and you just start off, I'm just going to start off by testing out some different colour combinations, seeing what they look like together with different styles and different patterns, drawing over the top of each other. Then again, I get my fresh page um, and what we're going to do um, here is we're going to do some cityscapes. Um, you can take inspiration out your window, but the basic shape um, that we're going to use is just a cube shape, which you might know how to. You might know how to draw a cube. You might not. Um, but you just draw the square, and you draw the three lines diagonally, and then you join and connect those. And then I'm going to colour in um, one side just to give it some shading. I'm just doing this quite roughly so that I can do it um, so you can see. And I'm doing a different colour in the top to show a different type of light on the top. As I say, you might want to look out of your window um, and just see what kind of shapes of houses are out there and see how the different blocks might stack on top of each other. There's certainly a lot of towers in Glasgow, so I'm just shading in the sides like I did the keyboards and now I'm just adding um, different styles of windows with the three different colours. You can just continue to add detail. I've added a panel on there. And I've decided to add on a greenhouse and some organic matter and some sky shapes. A little horizon line as well. This is a stack em up drawing. So I've started with an explosion and then I've done some squiggles, I've done some different blocky shapes, and I've turned all of those little shapes into a character. And uh, you can take inspiration from your family, so you could make each little blob a family member. So I gave one horns, um, representing my brother. Um, and then you can just continue to add detail, add a little bit of shading like you did with the cubes onto one side. So I hope that went well, um, you should check out our other videos and hope you have a lovely day, bye!